All right, everybody, this is Bedros Kulian. Welcome to another webinar where I'll be teaching you in this particular webinar how to become the expert and the fitness authority in your community. And so this particular webinar is all about expert and authority positioning secrets to give your fitness business massive next level success, right? We all talk about, hey, I want to go to the next level, the next level of success, the next level of training my clients and giving them results the next level of freedom and lifestyle. And uh, I thought that was the best example to use to give you a massive next level of success uh, because I believe that if you can position yourself as the local fitness and fat loss expert or in this, you know, if you're, you're a sports um, athletic coach, then obviously the expert and authority on being an athletic coach, whatever it is that your niche is, if you can position yourself as that expert and the authority, and I can show you how, because by God, it is simple. And uh, I'm going to kind of pull back the curtain and show you everything behind my business and how I do it, how my coaching clients have done it. Then I'm going to explain in the last few slides, step by step, on how you can do it, right? I learned best that way through examples, so I thought I'd share that with you as well. So let's get started, gang. So what makes people experts and authorities in a specific niche or industry or field or community, right? What does that? Well, and why can they command so much money? I mean, why can an expert or someone who's an authority or a celebrity on a topic command so much more money than someone who's uh, just a general practitioner of a specific skill, right? The example I might give you is a your family doctor, you know, probably makes between one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty thousand dollars a year, uh, typically if they're just a general practitioner, right? And this is a doctor, an MD. Um, you know, on the same side, someone who, someone else who's got an MD could be a brain surgeon, heart surgeon, um, thoracic surgeon, and they'll make on average between six hundred and seventy to seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. Uh, same level of education. One would argue that the general practitioner has more education because he has to learn the entire totality of the body. Whereas the um, expert, if you will, the heart expert, lung expert, brain expert, only has to learn a specific area. Um, and why is it that when that expert publishes a book, he can now command over a million dollars a year? And if he's on television, then, uh, you know, he's making $25, $35 million a year, like I'll show you in a minute, right? I mean, really, are they that much better than their peers? I, I, don't, I don't know. My argument would be no. So how does someone become that authority, right? Well, let's take a look. I mean, who decided that this guy, Dr. Phil, is going to be America's shrink, right? Or this guy. He's the one who I was talking about, Dr. Oz. I watch a show, you know. It's interesting, right? He's America's doctor. Who decided that? Now, both of these cats, Dr. Phil and Dr. Oz, first got their kickoff on the Oprah Winfrey show. You know, they were just expert guests. They were just guests on the show, right? To, to there to validate something. One's a shrink and one's a cardiothoracic surgeon. Dr. Oz, a cardiothoracic surgeon. Um, he, he was just a guest on the show, you know? Um, I don't know if the Oprah Winfrey contact, show contacted him or if he reached out to them for a specific segment. I assume they contacted him because they were probably doing a show on whatever he's an expert at. So some of us get a lucky break from time to time, right? Um, but before that, he was just a surgeon. Then he wrote a book once uh, when he was on the Oprah show. And then, of course, he got his own show, the Dr. Oz show. And the rest is history. I mean, you look at his income, if you were to chart it, it went from like $600,000 a year to like a couple million a year to, I believe now it's over $22 million a year in income. Um, and someone might argue that he's a worse surgeon today since he hasn't been practicing, um, yet he can endorse anything from coffee extract for fat loss. I mean, a cardiothoracic surgeon can somehow endorse a clothing line, a coffee bean extract for fat loss, and, and society will buy the product because Dr. Oz said so, even though he's an expert in working in your chest cavity. That blows me away. So who said that he's America's doctor, right? Who made Jillian Michaels America's trainer? Now, Jillian is a, is a very uh, sweet person. I've, 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 I've met her. I've worked with her, in fact. And uh, in fact, she spoke at Fitness Business Summit 07, the very first Fitness Business Summit. Maybe some of you were there. 
Um, she's got a mouth like a trucker, and I love that about her. She keeps it very real and very authentic. Um, but hey, what made her America's Trainer? Maybe it was a show called The Biggest Loser? Maybe. Right? But did you know that she was just a trainer at 24 Hour Fitness, not even certified? And did you know that she went out for an audition for some show called The Biggest Loser? And did you know that they said, well, we think we like you, but you're not even certified, so we can't work with you. And so she went and got nationally certified. And all of a sudden, she's America's trainer. Now, I'd argue that every one of you watching this webinar right now can train circles around Jillian. And having done a reality show myself recently, which aired, uh, was it yesterday? On Sunday on Spike TV, Jim Rescue, next episode that I'll be in, uh, airs this coming Sunday. Uh, I can tell you when the cameras are off, it's not Jillian probably cracking the whip. It's some other trainers like you and I cracking the whip and getting these people in shape, right? But on camera, she's the expert. Just like on camera, Randy Couture and Frank Shamrock, who are amazing, awesome, salt-of-the-earth guys, are the experts for Gym Rescue. And my job as a production consultant is to make them look amazing, to teach them the language of fitness business. Um, so who made her the expert, right? That's what we're getting to here. What about this guy, Tony Little? I mean, why does he make $200 million a year again? Can someone tell me that? You know, is it the ponytail or is it the gazelle that he's on? He's a fantastic guy. And, and I know the guy who actually uh, gave him his launch into, into uh, infomercial stardom. Um, you probably know him, Kevin. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on his name now. And he's going to be speaking at my event in November. Um, anyway, he was on Shark Tank. Maybe one of you can give me his name in just a second here. Uh, Kevin Harrington from the first two or three seasons of Shark Tank, right? He's the infomercial king. He's the one who discovered Tony Little and decided that, hey, we're going to do something with you. Um, Tony Little was like, hey, I'm a bodybuilder. Kevin said, uh, that's not going to make any money teaching people how to build big muscles. Can you teach them how to burn fat at home? And Tony Little said, well, I, I think so. And the gazelle was invented, and Tony Little and his personality just took over from there. But today, his $200 million a year comes from, are you ready for this? Brace yourself, not the gazelle, but Tony Little sells more buffalo meat in the, in the United States, in our country, than any other person on the planet. He is a number one salesperson for buffalo meat. That's right. You, you wouldn't think so. It's a very lean meat, obviously. Um, it's, it's high protein. And he is a spokesperson for it, and he makes $200 million a year selling gazelles and uh, buffalo meat. Pretty interesting, right? What about this guy, Tony Horton? Is he a better trainer than you, right? P90X. You've probably seen the infomercials. Seriously, is he a better trainer than you? I think not. I think he's an awesome trainer. I think all these people are amazing at what they do. You know, I take nothing away from them. I can tell you I work, I've worked my butt off um, to get to where I am. Um, so I can imagine each and every single one of these people, they're, you know, 15-year, 20-year, 25-year overnight successes. That's that's my story. I'm, a, I'm like a 13-year overnight success. And, uh, you know, but it's it's all about this. The, the reason they are the authority in whatever niche or industry is because they have fame and they've been seen on TV, right? Wow, seen on TV gives you fame. And fame gives you trust and credibility, expert status, and authority, right? You become a celebrity. So what does that mean? Do you and I have to go start in reality TV shows, make infomercials, get on TV somehow just to be a local expert, right? No, not at all. There's a faster way to do it. So let me bring it down uh, off the television and into a realm that you probably will, will connect with more. What about this guy here, you know? This, this awkward personal trainer with a quirky, weird sense of humor um, and who just happens to be a business partner of mine, Craig Ballantyne, and who I love like a brother. He's, he's my, uh, one of my dearest friends. Um, let me tell you, if you ever met Craig Ballantyne in person, you would go, holy cow, he's nothing like the emails that he writes. And you're right. He's a guy that has put himself way out of his comfort zone, uh, has put himself in the public eye. And let me tell you, I can vouch for his income, and he makes multiple, multiple millions a year, um, and it's all through the internet, internet fame, right? So we're kind of dwindling down to where, where, I'm, where I'm taking you here. What about this joker, right? 
all of a sudden he's on a reality show? Well, how does that happen, right? And well, I do pretty well for myself. I do pretty darn well for myself, right? Multiple seven figures a year. In fact, we're pushing eight figures now. And I'm really blessed and thankful for that. And I'm not saying any of that to impress you. What I'm telling you is I'm just a guy. I'm just a personal trainer who started off working as a bouncer at a gay bar and at a big box gym training people. I did not have enough clients. And so I worked part-time at Disneyland, part-time at a big box gym, and on the weekends at a gay bar because they paid more uh, to their bouncers because skinheads would come and, and, and cause a ruckus. Uh, and try and gay bash those, those, those idiots. And uh, well, it was our job, obviously, to make sure that didn't happen. My point of this is that I was then able to build a career as a personal trainer, opened up one location, then two, then three, then four, then five. And I uh, was pretty successful with my multiple locations, uh, built them up, sold them for a nice chunk of change, and started coaching and consulting personal trainers. The very first online info product I made was High Tech Trainer. Maybe some of you have used it in the past. Um, many of you may not know this. High Tech Trainer was the very first workout app that you could download on a cell phone. At the time, it wasn't called an app. It was called the Sprint Jukebox. If uh, you're over 40 years old and you're, and you're on this webinar and you had a Sprint phone back in the early 2000s, then you probably remember the Sprint Jukebox. And we were a Sprint content partner. High Tech Trainer was. And uh, let me tell you, $2.50 multiplied by uh, hundreds of thousands of people, you know, did well for myself. And we also sold High Tech Trainer to personal trainers who could use it to train clients all over the world, right? Which was a great thing. I love helping our industry and uh, my fellow trainer. And so my next product was a downloadable info product called The Art of Selling Fitness. You might have it. Now, what about this guy, right? You ever see him on YouTube? Mike Chang. Mike Chang right? This guy is the most watched trainer on YouTube. He holds the record for it, in fact. And if you're a personal trainer, and I imagine you are, and you're on, on this webinar, you might have seen some of his videos. Now, here's what blows me away. I mean, this guy's got videos like 1.2 million views, 300,000, 400,000, 900,000 views, right? 1.3 million. 1.8 million. I mean, how does he do it? How did he become a celebrity where his YouTube videos that he was putting up there that he was doing in the inside of his one bedroom, uh, what looks like a one bedroom apartment, ended up getting him on the Steve Harvey show and on other national TV shows? Like, how did Mike Chang do it? Right? Well, there's a formula to it. The guy's got his own rap now, too. By the way, he's a great guy. Um, I, I've gotten to know him recently. You know, very funny rap video. If you if you want to get a good chuckle, you'll want to Google Mike Chain rap video and uh, and watch that on YouTube. It's it's hilarious. But this guy has completely dominated YouTube and his info product six pack um, uh, abs. Um, I think I just slaughtered the name of it. But anyway, if you go to his website, you'd find it. His his product is an info product on how to get flat abs is just killing it right now, all because of the traffic and authority and expert status that he's developed for himself on YouTube, right? He's become a YouTube celebrity. An online celebrity. So, I mean, that's it. Internet famous. The trick is to get internet famous. And I'm going to break it down for you in just a minute, how it's done. So let's bring it even closer to home for you. Let's, let's really drive this thing home for you. So do you happen to know this guy, right? Well, his name is Nathaniel Dilworth. He's a Fit Body Bootcamp owner and one of my coaching clients in the uh, Seven Figure Formula Mastermind. He also owns a second location called Fit for Life, his, uh, his own brand of personal training, group training program. Um, San Antonio, Texas, you know, definitely not the fitness capital of the world, San Antonio, Texas. Definitely not the wealthiest part of the world, yet the guy um, is known by a lot of people in his community. Like, he'll go places, and they're like, wow, you're that guy from Facebook. You're that guy. You're that guy who, like, helps people lose, you know, 50, 60, 100 pounds at a time. Well, how did he do it, right? I mean, how is this guy able to give away a brand new car a couple times a year to the client who has the biggest transformation? That's one of his clients right there, right? And that's a Corvette that he gave away. How does he do it in San Antonio, Texas? He's not in L.A. or New York or Chicago, how does he do it where he's become a fitness authority in the town 
that's pretty, you know, low middle income, you know, and uh, he's able to give away two cars and people seek him out. And even though there's more expensive personal trainers and boot camps and group training programs, they will go to Nate versus anybody else. Well, one way is because if you are friends with him on his Facebook page, you'll see that several times a day he's putting giant, massive transformation pictures of his clients like this on Facebook. It's not using the same old one picture over and over again. You know, he'll put this one today, tomorrow he'll put that one. This is one of his transformation stories. Here's another. Look at that, right? Here's another transformation. There's another. I mean, look at this. This lady probably easily lost, what, 100 pounds, would you say? She's got her abs now. And she looks, I don't know what her age is. I guess I could have asked Nate, but gosh, I'd say she's maybe late 30s, early 40s. She looks older in her, in her heavier picture. Um, it's hard to tell, right? Look at this. Look at the transformation that he's producing. And when he's constantly putting this up on Facebook and giving props and, and, and you know, blowing up his clients that he's so proud of them and he's so impressed with the results they've gotten, don't you think the people in the community are watching and look at that transformation. Like this woman went from, well, from that before picture to a smoking hot, you know, I, I, you'd think she's a model, right? Maybe she is now. Who knows? Maybe Nate helped her get a new career. I mean, Nate is the fitness and fat loss authority in San Antonio, Texas. And if you know Nate, he is one of the most quiet, most humble guys. You would, you would, you would have to scoot in and cup your ear when he's talking to you, to hear what he's saying. He's just salt of the earth, great guy. And in fact, he uses the internet as his medium for getting clients because he's not one to go out there and hoot and holler and, and, and do public speaking and so on. It's easier to post a picture and let his results do the talking for him. But he's become such a person of authority when it comes to fitness and fat loss. Nobody wants to train with anyone else but Nate Dilworth. And that's, that's the formula there. And there is a formula. Fame is all about, you know, because you want to get that fame, right? And it's about your expertise or becoming that expert and that, that authority status, right? You want fame, you have to build that expert and authority status. And you don't need TV fame anymore. You just don't. You don't. You don't need to be published in a, in a magazine or a newspaper you certainly don't need the news media, either radio or, or to be featured on a news channel, you know, and all you really need is internet fame. And more specifically, Facebook and YouTube fame is all you need. Because today, you know, when you're seen on Facebook and YouTube consistently delivering the same message over and over again, guess what? People will fall over themselves when they see you and they go, oh my gosh, I've seen you on YouTube. YouTube is not the YouTube of even a year ago or two years ago anymore. You know, people have straight up YouTube shows. There's webisodes of actual like shows that people watch, right? I mean, you saw Mike Chang and his, you know, 1.8 million views for one video. Like that's pretty damn impressive, right? So experience, here's a formula for you. It's experience and authority equals dramatic demonstration of proof multiplied by consistency, repetition, right? Syndicated on Facebook and YouTube. So that's the formula for you, right? If you want to be considered an expert, a local expert and a, a person of authority in fitness, fat loss, sports, nutrition, uh, athletics, whatever, then it's dramatic demonstrations of proof, very much like Nate puts up there, massive transformation pictures, multiplied by repetition and consistency, which means not just putting one picture up today and then not putting any more transformation pictures up, you know, for three, four, five days, right? Or doing something for two, three days in a row and then getting off of Facebook and staying off of Facebook. Now, I'm not telling you, you go on Facebook and goof off and, and, and just, you know, suck up all the valuable time that you have in your life. That's not what I want you to do on Facebook. And let me tell you, it is easy to do that on Facebook. What I am telling you is that you can literally build a massive fame using Facebook, just like Nate has and just like I have, and I'm gonna show you that in just a minute as well. But the formula is to dramatically demonstrate the proof that you are badass at what you do, right? Like people know me for doing one thing. They always ask me, why don't you do this for dentists and chiropractors and, and, and doctors and 
whatever. And I say, look, you know, I'm an expert in a very specific niche to fitness trainers. I understand I could help dentists and chiropractors. Quite frankly, I do have clients who are dentists and chiropractors and, 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 and even pickup artists, believe it or not. But I don't talk about it. That's not what I'm passionate about. There are people who sought me out. You know, I, I, I kind of like their business model. I think it's a nice challenge for me and I'll work with them for that reason. I'll take them on board as a client. But if I showed them in a mixture of personal trainers who I help become successful, that would be sending you a mixed message. Instead, for my business, I consistently show you dramatic demonstrations of proof that I can take any personal trainer who's willing to take action on what I say and what I teach and give them a better lifestyle, more money, more clients, more freedom, and opportunities that they've never had, right? It's the, it's the one unique ability that God's blessed me with, and, I, and I'm very grateful for that. And I consistently demonstrate that, which is why I'm able to charge, you know, an obscene amount of money for my coaching programs, right? And I syndicate that on Facebook and YouTube. I demonstrate that on, on YouTube and Facebook, and I'll show you the formula in just a second, right? So what works for me? I showed you what works for Nate, right? But what works for me? So when a coaching client like Stephanie Poole here sends me a text message, right? She says, hey, I just totaled up the numbers for 2013 revenue and uh, $208,000, for 2013, which is $44,000 increase from 2012. Not a bad chunk of change, right? I mean, she came on board, um, let's see here, early 2012, and so we set a new record for her, and then in 2013, she increased that record by another $44,000, right? Pretty impressive. And so what do I do? I'll take that screenshot of my iPhone, and I'll share it on Facebook with my, with my Facebook fans and with the... Facebook friends that I have, and quite honestly, other than my sister and 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 maybe a niece or nephew, because my mom and dad aren't on Facebook and my brother's not on Facebook, um, look, most of my friends on Facebook are all personal trainers, and I like it that way, and I'll explain why in a second, and why that is the holy grail. Your Facebook personal profile is the holy grail, and not so much your fan page. Even though I've got a fan page of near 50,000 fans, that's fantastic, I'll mark it on there. But the majority of my big income comes from my personal page. And same with Nate Dilworth and same with many of my other coaching clients. And I'll explain why in just a second. And so what do I do again when Adriana, another coaching client, you know, sends me a text message. Hey, Bedros, hope you're doing well. I took an idea that you and Craig gave us and, uh, you know, closed two clients for $7,500 each, right? She made $15,000, $15,000. And uh, as she says, you know, hey, not bad for uh, for a day at the office, right? And so fifteen thousand dollars is not bad, right? This this is this is something she had never done before. And so when she sends me a text message like this, what do I do? I share it on Facebook. Of course, I always ask for their permission. Is it okay if I share it on Facebook and give you props? And I and I share it on Facebook. And of course, this helps position me as an expert. Listen, make no mistake about it. I don't think that I'm a celebrity. I have manufactured celebrity status. I have manufactured celebrity status. And on this webinar, I'm teaching you how to manufacture celebrity status because when you create the celebrity status in whatever tiny little niche you're in, whether you're in a community or a tiny niche like me, like I, I serve personal trainers. I love our industry. Um, according to IDEA Fitness um, uh, Organization, they say there's about 100,000 certified personal trainers worldwide. Well, my argument is probably about 60,000 of them, right? are working in a big box gym, just kind of passing through the industry. They're, they don't have ambitions and the passion to go open up a boot camp or personal training location. So really, who am I marketing to? 30, 40,000 personal trainers? That's about right. You know, that's about right. And so that's who I'm marketing to. And so on Facebook, I try and friend them. I try and get, get them to become my fans. I put them on my email list, right, through offers that I make. And I share text messages and messages like this that I get. You know, Ollie Reynolds out of the UK. He's a Fit Body Bootcamp owner and a coaching client. I wrote an email program, an email campaign uh, promotion called the uh, 5, 10, 15 program. Um, if I remember correctly, it was like in five days lose, um, or maybe it was in lose five inches and 10 pounds in 15 days. That's what the program was, five inches, 10 pounds in 15 days. And he said, hey, this is the best program I've ever done. Uh, he sent out, he generated over 150 emails in, in three days with it and got 18 clients to sign up from that email promotion that I wrote, right? Because I write email promotions for my coaching clients. 
um, and for Fit Body Bootcamp owners. And so he says, hey, but I have a problem, you know. Um, um, you know, do I sell more? And of course, my answer was yes. Keep selling, keep selling more as long as you can train and and uh, serve these people, right? And so Michael Perella, you know, he owns the franchise called I Love Kickboxing. But in 2009, as he says here in this uh, thank you uh, Facebook message he sent me, he says, "Hey man, thanks for all the help, the coaching, and the guidance over the last few years. When I first came to one of your events in 2009, I barely had enough money to pay for your to pay for my meals. It's true. He actually, uh, I had an event in Orlando. He came down to it." Um, the hotel that we were having the event in, I believe it was a Sheraton in Orlando by the airport, had a little sushi restaurant in there. And he made a friend at the at the event and offered the offer to take the, this is a great story. I hope he doesn't mind me telling him, uh, telling you this story. He took this, you know, whoever, he made, he met a friend at the seminar that I was putting on, the workshop, and then he goes, hey man, let's go get lunch together, I'll buy. And so, of course, um, he only had enough money on his credit card for like one meal. He Thought he had enough money for two. Uh, it turns out he was like $8 short, and so his credit card bounced, right? And he was like freaking out. So the guy truly was broke in 2009. So he's been a coaching client now for five years, and he modeled the Fit Body Bootcamp model. But for martial arts, uh, he's been in the martial arts space forever. I think he's like a super duper duper black belt um, in like, you know, five different disciplines. But, um, you know, in five years, He's he's gross. He's now grossing an average of a million dollars, right? Uh, he had his first million dollar month in April of 2014, and uh, recently he sent me a text message. And again, I'm pretty sure he won't mind me sharing this. And if he does, well, I'll I'll deal with it. He's a great friend of mine. Uh, I'm very sure he won't mind me sharing this. Uh, but he's he's about to have a 10 million dollar year. You know, that's not a bad thing to have when in 2009 you were eating frozen foods that were expired and uh, couldn't even buy uh, sushi for two people, right? And so guess what? I share this and I, I, asked, I asked him for his permission. I shared this on Facebook. It got like 50 or 60 likes and like 20 or 30 comments. And before you know it, people were sending me private messages on Facebook saying, hey man, I see what you did for Michael. I see what you did for Adriana. I see what you did for this person. What coaching program should I sign up on? What's right for me, right? So I no longer have to chase clients. Instead, they come to me, which is a lot easier. It reduces all resistance. It reduces all skepticism. Right? Same thing with Nate Dilworth. I mean, when you're in a cash poor town and people are overweight and, and, and out of shape, and as he says, there's more Burger Kings and Jack in the Boxes and donut shops in San Antonio than he's ever seen. And he comes out and he travels, you know, he comes out to my masterminds. And so, you know, those are people who are seeking him out and they're saying, look, I'm willing to pay whatever you're charging because I see how many people you get in shape. And it's not just like five or 10 pounds they lose, they lose like 50, 60, 100 pounds, right? And so it's really cool that you're not marketing the old-fashioned way where you're kind of trying to sell on lowering your price to compete against the guy who's down the street or down the road. Instead, you keep your prices high, you deliver the value, and you let your product, right, dramatic demonstration of proof, do the selling for you, which is the best type of marketing to do because it positions you, right? I mean, here's another one I put up. This is just like last week, and this this one actually made me cry, and I'll, I'll, I'll admit to that. Um, Javier Rodriguez, um, a, a former, uh, he was in the Navy, he, he caught out of the Navy, and um, this was maybe three years ago, and got on board with Fit Body Boot Camp, and look at what he's holding, he's holding keys to a house, and he said, hey man, I made my dream come true, these are the keys to my house that I bought this week, growing up, I lived in, uh, growing up, I never lived in anything that didn't have wheels under it, I mean, he lived in just, you know, mobile homes, trailers, cars, um, he's lived on his motorcycle, right? And his stories are crazy. Uh, he says, you know, as an adult, I've, I've, I've never owned a home until now. Thank you. And, and you know, thanks for uh, helping me bring out my true potential. And with him, it wasn't just teaching him how to market and grow business and teaching him the Fit Body Bootcamp systems. It was a lot of mindset stuff because he came from a place that I came from, which was a mindset of, of poverty, a mindset of being poor and broke. And we had to overcome that before we ever overcame any marketing or sales issues for him. And so, you know, it's something that I pride myself on that, hey, look, I can, I, I, my coaching programs don't just teach you the latest cutting edge marketing. I, I can help people overcome these barriers and limiting beliefs they have, right? I've had them. And so maybe you do that for your clients. And if a client sends you that message, ask them if it's okay for you to share that on Facebook, right? And if it is, even if you have to kind of black out their name, right? Because that is dramatic demonstration of proof, man. So... 
Um, I don't know how many more I have of these, but he, here's one. Here's one that I put up there. So the other day, August 10th, a couple days ago, when uh, Jim Rescue was about to air, right? I said, hey, I'm very proud of Samantha Taylor, one of my coaching clients, and Joshua Carter, one of my coaching clients, for bringing so much greatness to the first episode of Jim Rescue on Spike TV tonight. Um, as a friend of theirs and as their business coach, this is a huge highlight for me. And it is, you know, right? Look at that. 117 people liked it. I imagine at least a thousand people probably saw it, right? All trainers. And I don't know, 16, 17 comments on this thing, uh, which was really cool. So it's a great way for me to puff up my coaching clients and build them up and give them a pat on the back because by God, they deserve it. And in the same time, to position myself as the guy that helped them get on Jim Rescue, right? Because I did. I, I helped put them in front of the casting casting agents uh, because I was a consultant. And so the casting agent said, you just bring the people that you want to be on the shows and we're going to trust that you're the expert. And so you're going to bring other experts uh, who can, you know, fill in their role for the segment that they're going to be on, right? How cool is that? And I'll show you in a minute, by the way, how, how Spike TV found me. It, it just blows me away. Um, so again, this is positioning myself on Facebook. It's positioning my coaching clients, and uh, it's all positive. It's not you're not going around beating your chest. You're just doing it in a very cool way. And I hope uh, this is kind of weird, right? Because I'm kind of showing you the inner workings of my business and of Nate's business. Uh, but at the same time, I have to show you this. I, I hope it doesn't seem like I'm puffing myself up and I'm beating my chest because it's the last thing I want to do. What I want to show you is that there's a cool way to kind of give yourself a pat on the back and let people know that you're a badass at what you do without coming out and saying, hey, look, I'm a badass at what I do. You know, like, holy cow, look at that, J-Rob. I mean, I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys know who J-Rob is. I just saw this right now. J-Rob, the guy that has, make, makes the egg white protein, which ironically I drink. I drink that in BioTrust. <laughs> J-Rob even liked this thing, right? I mean, I wonder how many of his followers, of hundreds of thousands of followers, saw this post. Um, that, that's pretty neat. I got to reach out to him. And of course, what else do I put on my Facebook wall? I don't just put up, hey man, I help people make money. I help personal trainers make money, win their freedom and lifestyle, or turn their business around, blah, blah, blah. Look, man, I'm a trainer. I stay fit. I work out. I work my ass off and I travel a lot. And that's no excuse to stay out of shape. And I haven't trained a client for eight years. I have my own Fit Body Boot Camp. I've got staff that runs it. I show up there, right? But I don't train clients anymore. But by God, I find time to work out and eat right and stay in shape. And so when we were running, uh, the, this was, I don't know, a few months ago, we were running our Fit Body Boot Camp uh, Global Plank Challenge, where, you know, clients of all Fit Body Boot Camp locations were doing planks in all weird places, on top of cars, on top of bridges, and some dangerous places, actually. Uh, you know, I decided to get in on the action, and this is just one of the pictures where I decided to do a plank in my backyard off uh off the ice chest, ice chest where I keep my beer, and uh, <laughs> the, chair, the chair that I sit back on and read... And uh, our little dog just climbed up and jumped up on my back and uh, and voila, the picture was taken. But, you know, this thing probably, I think, got like 200 likes and comments, right? It You get to connect with people. And so I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you how you're going to do this and, and the value of that. But if I just keep telling you how awesome I am at building businesses, you're going to be like, yeah, bullshit. But if I demonstrate it by putting text messages I've gotten... Uh, Facebook comments, emails, etc. Then you're like, you know what? This guy is pretty good at doing this specific thing, helping trainers out grow their business. But you probably want to see another part of me, right? I mean, you want to know, like Robin Williams sadly passed away. And, and when I came to America, one of the first shows that I watched was uh, Mork and Mindy, right? And, and so I was like, actually, I was in San Francisco yesterday when he passed away. I think we might have been miles apart because he sadly committed suicide in his San Francisco house. Um, as I was at the airport, I heard about this. And um, anyway, my, my, my point of this is that why do we like Robin Williams so much? I mean, well, he was a great actor, but we all knew about his alcoholism, about his bouts with drugs, about, you know, that, that he was a good human being. You know, he was a genuine, humble human being that had life challenges and problems like the rest of us, right? And, and we get to like him more. So you do have to let people inside your life at times. And just doing cute little stuff like this, or maybe hanging out with my kids, playing the guitar with my son, or going on a date with my daughter, Chloe, and, you know, she loves taking pictures of us on our dates. And, you know, sometimes I'll put one of our, our pictures up on Facebook. Um, you know, and, and listen, there's trainers who have kids, right? And they connect with me. And, and think about that with your clients, right? They're going to connect with you. And, uh, well, sometimes you just have to get a, a, a mini you, right? So one day, one day I hired a 
I hired, um, uh, there's a website called rentamidget.com. I kid you not. Don't send me angry emails for being politically incorrect. He, he, he's okay with being called a midget, this guy. Um, a great guy, actually. And um, his name is Austin, uh, uh, I forget his last name. But anyway, uh, hopefully he can make a debut at, at, at another fitness business summit. And uh, the website's called rentamidget.com. And uh, I said, hey, man, I'm looking for uh, someone who looks just like me to, to kind of do a little prank on the audience at Fitness Business Summit. So when Josh Carter, who's our MC, calls my name uh, to, for me to get up on stage, instead of me going running up on stage, it would be him, right? My little mini-me lookalike. So he came to my office and we spent the day together so he can get to know me. And he grew his hair out and grew his beard out for me, which was cool. I paid him a lot of money for it. And, uh, you know, we went out to lunch together and people were just tripping out how we look alike. And uh, I just kept telling him, yeah, this is my little brother, uh, literally little brother. And I always got a good laugh. But put that as I put this on Facebook. All right. It shows a little other side of a uh, different side of you. And, and listen, people get offended by this. Well, I don't care. Those are people I don't want to do business with. And so it's OK to polarize people now. I'm not going to put on Facebook the pool if I'm having a pool party and, and, and knocking down beers, which I don't. But let's say I did. Let's say I knock down 12 beers a night and, I, and get pissed, pissed poor drunk, right? I'm not going to put that on Facebook, right? But it's okay to show this, this side of you, this genuine side of you um, that people will connect with and resonate with and kind of gives you dimension, right? And if it helps polarize people, well, that's okay because all the people who didn't like this picture – there was thousands more who did, who resonated with me because they just have a quirky, weird, goofy humor, sense of humor like I do. And those are the people I enjoy working with, right? So that's what I do on Facebook. That's what Nate does on Facebook. But what about YouTube? Because YouTube is the all new as seen on TV. So here's an example for you. This video. Now, remember, I'm, a, I'm in a tiny little niche. I'm not like uh, Tony Robbins where I would have like, you know, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 views on my YouTube videos. But one of my most recent videos, you might have seen this, um, you know, how to GSD, how to stop being lazy and get shit done video already has 10,800 views. And it was from, I don't know, three months ago, right? My point is that this video alone, when I made it, um, what did I do? So it's all the stuff that I teach my coaching clients on mindset. I just kind of compress it down to whatever it is. I think it's eight and a half minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I put it on YouTube. And, uh, you know, made a little video out of it. And then, of course, then I shared this on, on Facebook, right? And so when you're on YouTube, it's as good as being as seen on TV. Here's my YouTube channel. I have anywhere from, you know, 10,000 views to as little as 800 views um, on, on my, some of my videos. But for my industry, it helps position me. And when you've seen me on YouTube, it blows me away till this day. Uh, the only one that truly has more views, actually, is right here. This one with me and Ronnie Coleman from Fitness Business Summit a couple years ago. Things like that, like 40,000 views, but uh, make no mistake about it. No one's searching Bedros Kulian to find <laughs> 40, 000, for 40,000 views. They're, they're searching Ronnie Coleman. And uh, I, I think when my assistant put this video up, Ronnie Coleman's name is in the uh, one of the tags or maybe in the description. And so, you know, it's got a lot of views of you know Ronnie Coleman being interviewed, which is a, a different thing than you would typically see Ronnie Coleman on with uh, on YouTube because you always see him working out, right? And everybody liked the fact that I interviewed him and we kind of learned how he built a million pounds of muscle eating uh, fried chicken, uh, hamburgers, and pizza, uh, which blows me away. He's an amazing guy. But um, again, when you are on TV, you are as good as seen, or on YouTube, you are as good as seen on TV these days. YouTube is not what it was, you know, even three, four years ago of kids twerking and, you know, cats chasing each other. There's like legitimate shows on there that, that, that get funded big time revenue and uh, make big time revenue. So in, in, in my tiny little niche, my YouTube channel has probably made me about four to five million dollars over the last three years. Just my YouTube channel alone. Right. Uh, we track where our traffic comes from um, and, and it blows me away that people see you on a YouTube video and I'll travel and I'll go work out at the gym and some trainer will be like, oh, my God, you're that guy. Right. So before, when they would just see my picture from my blog, it would be like, hey, you're Bedros. I've, I've, seen, I've been to your blog. Now that I have YouTube videos, it's this weird approach that people have. It's like, oh, my God, you're that guy from like, it's almost like you're that guy from TV. And I look behind me because like, are you really talking to me? Like anyone could have a YouTube channel, right? But that's proof positive that if you just have a blog 
or an email list, that's great. That's awesome. But if you want to next level this thing, man, you got to get that YouTube channel and you got to do this thing. And I'm going to show you how you're going to do it. All right. So what's my point here? My point is this, that when you're seen on Facebook and you're watched on YouTube, it's as good as, if not better, than as seen on TV. Because on both of those mediums, Facebook and YouTube, you get to control the content. You get to control the messaging, right? Which is very important. And consistency and messaging is vital to build fame, to build celebrity. And with fame and celebrity comes authority and expertise, right? People view you as a person of authority and an expert in your field. And if you're viewed as a person of authority and as, a, as an expert, then there's far less objections, there's far less money issues, there's uh, way less skepticism, and it's, here's my favorite part, compliance is through the roof. Your clients who are paying you a substantial amount of money, a premium, will actually pay attention. They will comply to your program versus clients who pay less and so pay less attention, if you know what I mean, right? So yes, yes, you can manufacture internet fame for yourself, and it's just as powerful as TV today. It just is, right? And it's just, here's the deal, man. I, again, I just happen to see these things like years before anybody else, and so I share it with you guys. So in about three years, you know, it's, it's YouTube's going to be like, wow, it's like really like regular TV. Well, fact is, it's that way now. So you can get a leg up on the competition. So... Be famous for something. It's your job to be famous for something. What's your expertise? Mine is helping fitness professionals win their freedom, build their business, get more clients, change more lives, right? That's what I want to be famous for. That's what I'm famous for. And so, you know, here's the formula for it. I'm going to give it to you. Now, if you have a Facebook fan page for your business, that's that's cool, you know, but don't focus on that. You know, everything you're going to put on your personal profile that I'm going to ask you to, you'll put on your fan page as well. And, and if you follow me, on Facebook, which I hope you do, um, you'll see that anything I put on my personal profile, I'll also put on Facebook, right? Um, but I focused more on my personal profile than on my fan page because on your fan page, people just aren't going to interact as much. But on your personal profile, because people want to interact with people, they don't want to interact with an entity, right? Remember that. So you're going to use your personal Facebook fan page or personal Facebook page, or you're going to create a new personal Facebook page, if you have one that's got like you drunk at the lake and at the river and your top off or your bottoms off or fucking everything off, I don't know, right? Um, but you certainly want to keep it cool. And, uh, you know, your page gets, is going to get about 5,000, you're going to have about 5,000 friend limit. Um, I, I always hear that Facebook is going to increase the limit, but they, they don't. So right now it's 5,000 friend limit, which is plenty. Think about it. If you had 5,000 people throughout your community who are interested in fitness and fat loss as your friends on Facebook, wouldn't that be enough people for you to market to if they were interested? If over time you can get them a, a fifth of them, an eighth of them to become a client, right? You can. You can. And couldn't you really start a second profile? You can. Nate has Nate Dilworth and he's got Nathaniel Dilworth. Um, or you can do what I do. I've, I'm already full with 5,000 friends, but people can follow you as well. So instead of becoming a fan, they can follow your personal page. And so I've got another like 3,000 or 2,000 followers on my personal fan, or on my personal Facebook page, which is cool. So that's a total of like 7,000 trainers, right? Who, and those are the super hypersensitive ones, which is great. I love that. So plus you can promote to your Facebook followers, right? Your friends for just seven bucks, which is pretty damn sweet. Uh, versus, you know, what do I have, like 50,000 fans on Facebook? If I want to reach like 2,000, 3,000, I got to spend 300 bucks. I mean, that's, that's, those are the metrics. And if I want to reach all 50,000, guess what? Facebook won't let me, even if I try and pay for it. Uh, but I've, you know, I've once spent uh, $4,000 in one uh, fan page promotion just to see how many people I could reach, right? And I was able to reach something like 9,000 people off uh, whatever it was, like three grand or four grand, something like that. It was like a, it's it just not enough. You know, it, it wasn't worth it to me and it won't be worth it to you. But for whatever reason, they'll let you promote to your friends uh, for seven bucks, which I love, right? So what to post um, and when to post it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna friend all of your clients and prospects, right? 
So people who have come in, maybe you have a par queue from them, but you uh, they never became clients, you're gonna friend them. Find them on Facebook and friend them. There's a little uh, there's a little creative stalking involved, right? And uh, then of course you're going to friend your email list by sending out an email to your to your email list and saying, hey man, are we friends on Facebook? If we're not, here's the link to my personal profile. Um, you know, friend request me, and all of a sudden you'll see like hundreds of friend requests, and you'll approve them, which is very cool, right? Because you can only go and friend request so many people at a time. I think I don't know the numbers like eight, ten, twelve a day before Facebook gets all bent out of shape, um, or you can just ask your email list. So you're going to friend your, all your clients, all your prospects, past clients, um, you, you know, any any local people that you know, obviously friends and businesses, etc. And then you're going to tap into your email list and send them an email and say, hey man, are we friends on Facebook? If not, let's be friends, right? So uh, you're going to friend other local ideal prospects. And so uh, if Mrs. Jones is your client and you see that she's got three friends who are also female, who live in your town, you might want to just send them a Facebook friend request and then send just those two or three women a little private message. Hey, just want to let you know that uh, I see that you're friends with uh, Mrs. Jones, who's my client, and um, I'm the local fitness expert. And I just, you know, I, I post fitness uh, tips on my on my profile every now and again. I just wanted to friend you. If you want to friend me, fine. If you don't, that's okay too, right? So you don't get the creeper, you know, you don't give them the creeper vibe. Um, very cool thing to do, right? And, and that's, that's called like real laser light targeted marketing, man. Because listen, if Mrs. Jones is your client and she's your friend on Facebook and she's got friends just like her who are your ideal prospects, well, odds are one of those two or three are going to end up being a paying client for you. And if you're charging anywhere from $200 to $800 a month, well, I think it's worth your time to friend them and then send them a private message and go, hey, I just want to let you know you're friends with my client, Mrs. Jones, and I'm friending you because... Uh, we live in the same town and I put fitness tips up there and if it benefits you great and if you don't want to be friends, that's okay too, right? Very cool thing to do. And so the formula is going to be like this. So you're going to post three to four times a day. You're going to post one transformation picture like Nate Dilworth does, um, right? So you're three to four times a day. What do they consist of? One transformation picture of a client. And it could be a client who lost maybe 15 pounds in the last three months and two inches and 6% body fat. Right, you're gonna post uh, one mindset and motivation tip, um, and you can certainly Google that and find that. Right, like motivation tips and uh, mindset tips, um, or you might think one up yourself. Right, nothing wrong with that. Be original. Uh, you're gonna post one of your training, uh, training work, like you training or you eating right, eating clean. Right, you want to live. You want to demonstrate that you live what you practice, and that's the other thing. If you're an out of shape trainer, if, if you've got some weight to lose, I highly recommend you lose that weight and get in shape. Um, you know, I know what the argument is going to be. Well, there's world class coaches out there who train world class athletes who are way out of shape. I, I get it. Listen, you and I are not them. I would not expect you to do business with me if I look like uh, a, a fat uh, used to be trainer, right? Like I said, I haven't trained anybody for eight years. I own five businesses. I travel. I'm always eating out, uh, but I find a way to stay in shape no matter what, right? And uh, I expect you to only do business with me if you believe that I, you know, lead by example. Well, then you should too. Um, trust me when I say, if you look at Nate's picture, you see he's lean. If you look at any of my coaching clients, you'll see they're in great shape. You know, you don't have to be a walking anatomy chart, but you certainly should, should be an idealized version of who your client wants to be, if possible, right? So one transformation picture a day, wait a couple hours, you know, one mindset motivation tip, uh, wait a couple hours, one of you either working out or eating clean, maybe just a picture of your meal, right? And then um, and then a picture of your client working out, maybe from earlier in the day, you took a picture and uh, one of your clients doing a perfect form on the squat or walking lunges or battling ropes and just post that picture up and say, hey man, I want to congratulate client you know, Susan Jenkins, because, uh, you know, she did awesome to today's boot camp workout and really gave it all, her all. And you might tag her on there. And all her friends are now going to see this and they're going to see that, wow, you know, there she is working out at your place and you're always adding value to the community. The expert, the person who's an authority is always adding value to the community. They're not an emotional mess, right? So if you're one of those people who are like, ah, oh, you know, today's a bad day. I'm, 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 I, it sucks that, uh, that I'm having a crappy day. Da, da, da. Listen, the expert, the person who's an authority, doesn't do that, right? So get a control, get control of your emotions, and uh, and and you'll find that 
you know, people want to be around winners and not people who are negative or who are whining and pissing and moaning. Be a pumper up around Facebook, right? Be the motivator of your community. Like I look at myself as like the ambassador to fitness, to personal trainers, right? If, if I'm on Gym Rescue Show, I'm representing all personal trainers worldwide. Um, I want to be the ambassador. And let me tell you, they were feeding us crap food. So I actually gained weight on Gym Rescue and uh, we were working like 16 hour days and I barely had time to work out and I did the best I could. But, uh, you know, I wanted to look the part. I wanted to be the part, right? And so it's important to do that. So if I'm representing you and I do the best that I can to represent you well, you want to represent your community well, right? So what else do you do? Well, on Facebook, you're going to post the what's, right? Like, hey, here's Mrs. Jones. I got her in great shape. You know, I, I'm super proud of her. You're going to post what you're eating, what your workout is like today, you know, uh, what the mindset or motivation tip of the day is. You're going to put the what's on Facebook. But once a week, you're going to film a video with your iPhone or your or your computer or if you have a flip cam or something, you're going to film a, a video once a week that only needs to be three to five minutes long that you're going to put on YouTube. And it's that's where you're going to teach the how. So you might put Mrs. Jones's picture up today where she lost 60 pounds and um, on Facebook, right? And you put that up on a Monday. On Friday, let's say you put up a YouTube video where you explained how Mrs. Jones. So you might say, hey, you know, here's a screenshot of Mrs. The picture I put up of Mrs. Jones on Facebook. If you remember, I said how she lost 60 pounds. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you on this marker board or whatever. Maybe you're just going to talk right directly to the camera or PowerPoint like I'm doing here. How Mrs. Jones lost the 60 pounds, right? And you're going to kind of talk about her journey. Of course, you, again, you want to get there uh, okay first before you go and put all their laundry out to, to the public. But now once you made this YouTube video and you put it up on your YouTube channel, you're going to put that YouTube video on Facebook and you're going to share it with your friends and followers. You're going to email it out to your email list. And so again, you're the person who's constantly demonstrating dramatic demonstration of proof. And by over and over doing that, this isn't something that's going to get you clients tomorrow morning, guys. All that other stuff I've taught you and I'll continue to ta teach you in my masterminds and my info products and other webinars I do, you know, like last time I taught like how you're going to use Facebook ads to, to drive traffic and, and get, get a whole ton of leads within 72 hours and convert some of those into low barrier offers. That's not what this is. This is something that's going to take you maybe three, six, eight months of you consistently doing this and slowly separating yourself from your competitors and creating a massive gap between you and your competitors so that you can charge whatever you want, that you're known, that you're talked about. There's you and then there's the rest of them. That's what, what, that's what I'm teaching you here on this webinar. I hope you 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 get that, right? And so don't expect like, hey, Baders, I put up three YouTube videos and I did Facebook for two weeks, uh, like you said, and I got nothing. Well, keep doing it, right? Consistency. Wouldn't you tell a client, be more consistent and over time you're going to lose all that weight? That's what I'm telling you. And so, of course, then you'll email out to your YouTube video and, of course, you're going to share it on Facebook, like I just said, uh, because you are the expert and the authority and the expert and the authority, a uh, person who's an authority, always teaches, demonstrates, lead through, leads through positivity and consistency, right? Like you should be like clockwork. And if there's something that, uh, you know, there's so something that's worthwhile that you see is getting a lot of traction, a lot of likes that you posted something and it's getting a lot of likes and a lot of comments and it's a client's picture, before and after picture, then boost it. If I boost it, here's what I mean. Uh, let me see if I can do this. So we're going to go to my Facebook, uh, Facebook page here. Um, there we go. So earlier, about two hours ago, I put this line from Jay-Z. I said, uh, you know, he's got this line in his song. He says, I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man, right? I thought it was a pretty cool line from his song. And uh, it's got 52 likes on here. Now, you know, this isn't necessarily going to do anything for my business, but I'll spend the whopping $6.99 to, to show you how this works, right? Um, you are, ha, this guy says I'm on your webinar. That's awesome, Junior. <laughs> so I'm going to hit promote. Watch what it says here. Says, all right, we're going to promote this to all 7,000 of your friends. So 5,000 friends and like 2,000 or 3,000 followers. And then I'm going to say, yes, I want to pay the $6.99 to promote. And it's loading. And voila, it is now a sponsored thing. And, you know, there's my receipt. And now this thing is going to be seen by a whole bunch of people, right? There I am giving some positivity to our industry. Why not, right? I want all of you guys to think that, hey, you're not just a businessman or businesswoman. I want you to think like you yourself are an economy. You are an economy, right? Look at it that way. Um, so, all right, let's go find this PowerPoint again. There we are from current slide. Look at me. Wow. Mommy would be proud. 
All right, so because you're the expert, you're the authority, and the expert and authority teaches, demonstrates, leads through positivity and consistency, and that's what you do. So the politically incorrect truth of this is that most people are too lazy and they won't do the little extra things like I showed you here to take before and after pictures of their clients, right? So when a client comes in, brand new client, signs up, take a before picture. And if they've told you, man, I used to be 20 pounds heavier and now I want to start working out with you, then you got to tell them, can you give me a picture of yourself when you were 20 pounds heavier? Because in a few months, when I make you uh, 50 pounds lighter, I want to be able to use your picture to to share it on Facebook and to give you props and, of course, to use it to uh, motivate others in our community to get in awesome shape like you're going to get in shape. You know, people will gladly do that, but you have to go that extra mile. You have to do that extra thing of getting that before picture, um, motivating people the right way. If you have clients that you're training, you've been training for years and they keep paying you, but they're not getting results, man, how come? Why not? You're like, well, they're staying, they like the program, they're getting stronger, that's great. But how can you demonstrate anything to anybody if they're not getting results, right? They may like you as a person, but listen, I don't want you to get on my coaching program and stay on it because you like me as a person, because we meet up in San Diego or Vegas or wherever for our masterminds. I want you to stay on my coaching program. I still want you to like me as a person, but I want you to stay on my coaching program because I've transformed your business, I've transformed your life, right? That's the reason why, so that I can take your success and share it with others, and and you can then take your success and live a better life because of it. So again, most people are too lazy, and they won't go that extra mile to do the things that separates them from their competitors. You know, but but I'm asking you, don't let that person be you, because if you can just consistently post three to four times a day, if you can make that YouTube video once a week, even twice a, twice a month for now. And be active on there. Be the positive person. Be the leader in your community. Build your Facebook personal followers and friends, right? Do the random promotion of things. And, of course, when you do this, then randomly you can put an actual promotion out on Facebook and go, Hey, hey, all your followers, you know how I've been showing you for weeks and weeks and weeks all the transformation pictures? Well, now I'm opening up a, a six-week transformation program where I'm going to take on 25 new people who are strictly from Facebook and, and live in our community. You know, and so we do that for my Fit Body Bootcamp in Ontario, and it's 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 amazing how many people jump on board because they feel like, oh my gosh, this celebrity, this person who I've never met, but who keeps pumping out transformation pictures, is is making this low barrier offer. Well, they don't call it a low barrier offer, but making the six week offer to me for whatever, only a you know ninety seven bucks. I'm gonna get on board, and when you get you know twenty five. 26, 28 people on board on a program like that, you're probably going to convert a third of them, even half of them, into long-term paying clients, right? So it's doing these things. And, and don't forget, man, as seen on YouTube or as seen on Facebook is as good as as seen on TV. And so what I want to do now is I want to, I'm going to open it up for questions here in a minute, but I want to tell you about something where you can join me in Las Vegas on, uh, let's see here, the date is September, September 19, 20, and 21. Um, if you just go to this website, bedroslive.com, you can join me and sit in on, on my Seven Figure Formula Mastermind. We've never done it before. Cable and I run it together. Cable is one of uh, my coaching clients for over a decade now, or nearly a decade. And, um, you know, we turned his business into a seven figure producing business. And he runs a seven figure formula mastermind with me. We're running it in September in Las Vegas, and we're opening up a handful of spots. And you guys can sit in on it and uh, let us coach you and teach you for a weekend so you can go back and blow your business up and take it to the next level, right? Um, all the details are on BedrosLive.com and, um, you know, you're going to get on the phone with myself and Cable. We're going to make sure that we can help you. And if we can, then we'll invite you to Las Vegas and you'll sit in for a weekend with us. Um, trust me when I say it is time well spent. Um, we just happen to know what we're talking about. 